Okay, Cancer. So, your desires for the month of May, we have the Ten of Rods or Wands here, and this card represents victory. And this is total victory. This is victory in the sense of, it kind of represents, you know, your ship has come in. All your hard work and efforts have really paid off. And what's beautiful about this card is that it's really, it's not even just about you. It's about the collective whole. It's about uh, family, friends, a group, a business. Um, you know, everyone is experiencing um, prosperity from this or people are, everyone's benefiting from your success. And, and this victory is also a very magical moment. It's almost like one of those uh, you know, nostalgic, one of a kind, one once in a lifetime type feelings where things really just make sense. And, you know, everything kind of comes in alignment. And you see that everything happens for a reason. And, uh, you know, it's just it's feeling victorious, it's feeling victory in every area of your life, and others are going to be celebrating with you and sharing your joy and your accomplishments with you. And it's also very tangible, very tangible rewards. So as you can see, you know, the ship has brought in a lot of bounty for not only you, but others. And um, it's, a, it's a spectacle. It's a spectacle that no one is ever going to forget and everyone is going to remember. So that's a very beautiful thing to, to be desiring, Cancer. Um, it's very heartfelt. It's very meaningful to you. And there's a lot of love and care behind that energy. So for the month of May, you are desiring, uh, you know, victory that kind of encompasses all of life and all the things that you have been working for and working so hard to accomplish and achieve. As far as what you're valuing and what you are exemplifying in yourself, what you're identifying with, we have the four of cups, which is a um, emotional sign and it is stability. So what you're valuing in yourself and others is emotional stability for the month of May. And this is just some, this is, you know, it's dependability. It's something that you can count on. It's something that you can rely upon. It is people in your life that are trustworthy, that you know have your back, that you know can be counted on, that will always be there for you, or you will always be there for them. Uh, as you can see with these pillars, they're not easily moved. And so you value in yourself and you also exemplify this for others, Cancer, where, you know, people can count on you. They can trust that you, when you give your heart to someone, you really care. You give your all and you're not going anywhere. You're going to be there for them through thick and thin, you know, the highs and the lows. You are steady. You are sturdy. You are there. Um, it's a very, this is a beautiful energy and it also represents security, emotional security. So I definitely know this represents your energy and also what you value in others. Uh, you know, and cancer is a sign that is such a giver and loves very deeply and feels very deeply and home and friends and, and family and security is a very important element in their life. So this would make sense that this is what you value and what you identify with and what you also, um, are demonstrating to others in your life. So it's a very beautiful energy and cancer is an amazing friend. Um, they care for people so deeply. They're amazing with their family. Uh, they care for just humanity in general. So we love cancers. We need cancers in our lives. Everybody does. So very beautiful energy there. Okay. As far as the month of May, something that could be, um, a distraction, a doubt, or cause, you know, an illusion, we have the King of Swords energy. And this is represented by the Professor. So this is somebody that is authoritative, um, somebody that's kind of a know-it-all, somebody that, and actually, I mean, to be honest, they kind of are a know-it-all. <laughs> they kind of do know their stuff. The problem is, is that they know that they know their stuff. It could be a teacher, but it doesn't have to be. Like I said, it could be just someone that really is an authority in their field. Um, so this could be a male. It could be an air sign, which would be a Libra, Aquarius, um, or Gemini. And this is someone for the month of May that you really just don't want to mess with. 
Um, the warning here is just not to start up a heated argument with this type of person. This person can shred just about anyone with their words. I mean, they don't intend to, they're just, that's just how they work. They're very logical. They're uh, very highly unemotional in their energy. So if it's not an air sign, if it's not a male, they could just demonstrate this type of energy where they're not really in tune with their feelings and they're not really in tune with their emotions. They're very much fact by the book, black or white type person. And, uh, you know, they are about doing everything right and perfect down to the detail. So the warning here is just that if there's someone that's trying to kind of pick a fight with you, or someone that's questioning your intuition or your vibe or your feeling or your emotion. So it could be a friend, it could be a business associate, it could be someone you don't even know. The point is, is that you don't have to engage with this person. This isn't, you know, someone that is necessary to your life path um, for the month of May. So it's just an energy to be aware of and that it's in your best interest to probably not participate in that type of debate. Um, so this is the warning for the month of May. So we have an air, authoritative, male, um, logical, kind of argumentative figure in some way, shape, or form. And once again, this isn't for every single cancer. It's only going to resonate with some of you. Um, I do want to let you know I am offering personalized readings now. So if you want something that's very specific to your life path and energy, uh, you can check out my website on the About page for those readings that are currently being offered. Okay. So as far as the path for you to take for the month of May, we have the five of pentacles and this represents the partner. So this lets me know that a lot of cancers right now probably have lovers or, and this could be a friend. It could even be a business partner for the month of May. And this is also an earth sign. So it could be a Virgo Capricorn or Taurus, or it could, it could be a earth energy which would be someone that is very reliable, um, very rational, practical, um, methodical, is, is very steady and a good friend, someone that you can count on. Uh, the point being is, is that this person is going to assist you in your financial security and your emotional security. So it, lo so it looks like in the month of May, you're going to have a partner um, this could be a significant other, it could be a friend or a business partner that's really going to help you in manifesting your overall goals, which is, you know, victory on all levels. So there's an earth energy here uh, that's really just going to probably ground you, keep you focused, keep you motivated, and just provide that stability and that reliability for you for the month of May. So the attitude to keep for yourself and towards others Oh, wow. We have another earth energy here. We have uh, the ace of pentacles and this represents healing. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, so this is healing and it's also financial security. And because it's an earth sign, again, it's demonstrating, you know, the Virgo Capricorn Taurus energy. So this could be tying into the actions that you're supposed to take as well. So the attitude and the actions is definitely going to involve an earth sign. And so this makes me even wonder that there might be an earth energy that comes into your path that helps you with your own healing. Maybe you're going to go see someone, um, a spiritual healer, a medical, physical healer, someone that has the earth energy um, could be coming into your path. Or this is someone that you're going to be seeking out. Uh, you know, you're going to look for people that that have the attitude that they want to heal themselves and others and that are looking for financial security and just doing well in their lives. So the attitude that you are to focus on for manifesting, you know, all of these beautiful desires, cancer is really an attitude of healing and belief and faith and knowing that you are healing, knowing that you are attracting the right people into your path knowing that you're attracting the right healers into your path or whatever you need to get to that place of complete victory you are attracting. And so to me, this is just an attitude because the Ace of Pentacles is all about just complete rejuvenation and healing and abundance physically, uh, financially, emotionally. So that actually really ties into just your victory in all areas of life. This is really about believing that all of that is possible and that all those things are coming your way. So you really want to focus on just that belief and that faith and that healing is available 
to you and through you and that you're going to connect with others um, who are on the same path as you. So, and you know, cancer, use your intuition, use your feelings, use your gut, you, you know, your instincts to, to lead and guide you in your own way. And, you know, you don't want to let anybody, you know, argue with you as far as what is right for your path. So let's kind of just recap before we get to um, the final outcome card. So as far as the month of May, you are desiring victory. And this is really an overarching victory. Um, it's going to be about literally positive manifestations coming into your path in life that are going to not only be beneficial to you in a practical way, meaning you could attain all of the things that you've really wanted on, on the, in the physical realm, whether that be a house or a family, they're going to be tangible, physical things. This is going to benefit you and others, uh, you know, friends, family, colleagues are really going to be appreciative of this beautiful moment. And what you value in yourself and others is stability, emotional stability. So someone that's solid, someone that can be trusted, depended upon, um, relied upon, that's what you're exhibiting and that's what you also value in other people. Something to look out for for the month of May is this sword energy, this king of swords. So this is going to be someone that's probably a little cynical, um, argumentative, not really in touch with their emotional nature and is very authoritative on what they're talking about. So this is probably someone that you really don't need to engage with in the month of May because it's really not going to help you or assist you on your highest intentions and your best path. But the right attitude, excuse me, the right actions that you want to take is going to be with a partner. And this partner is either going to be like a lover, a friend, a business partner. They possibly could have an earth energy. And it's going to be a partnership where it's a give and take where you're going to help them. They're going to help you, but they're going to help you to attain your goals. Um, you know, in that security in the financial, emotional, practical sense. The right attitude for you to take is the attitude of healing, healing, belief, and faith. Um, belief in the universe, believe in God, that God heals, uh, that you can heal. He uses you to heal, that you are healing, that you're attracting healers, that you're being used to heal. Um, just really good positive thoughts about healing and also financial abundance, that you are abundant and that what you're doing is going to continue to lead to your success. So if you do this, Cancer, um, what we have here is the nine of wands. And what I'm feeling here is that you are going to achieve what you're looking for. You are going to achieve what you're looking for. And even in the setbacks that happen, and no matter what you do, no matter what goals or situations that you try to attain, um, you're going to gain perseverance. You're going to gain reflection and ability to, to get that emotional security that you're looking for. Because emotional stabi or stability... Emotional stability comes when we can really handle, you know, the highs and the lows, the ups and the downs. And so the universe is saying that when you do all this and you do the work, you're really going to gain that emotional strength and ability to weather the storms and to really have a calmness because the nine of wands represents setbacks in life, but it represents how we handle those setbacks. And this person is able, yes, you know, they've weathered the storm, but they're able to pause and to reflect and to not be so affected by their surroundings or by, you know, the journey. They have that calm inner stillness to where they can pause, they can reflect, they can recharge their batteries and they can move toward their goals. And so what this tells me is that you're going to get that tenacity and that perseverance and that emotional stability to weather the storms to get to your ultimate victory. Because there's going to be setbacks. I don't care who you are. There, there's no perfect, straight, just successful road. We're all going to have challenges. And, and the quicker we can move through those and let them pass through us, the quicker we can actually reach this victory. So to me, this is just completely a positive reading for you, Cancer. I'm so proud of you. I feel like you are totally in tune with your intuition and you're trusting yourself and um, you're healing, you're doing the work. So beautiful, beautiful energies for the month of May. Keep up, keep up the good work.